Storm Team Weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Well, we had another day of record-setting temperatures here in the Concho Valley today, but the story is going to be different for us come this time tomorrow. Cooler air is on its way. Dry weather is going to remain for us. That's going to be the story for the days to come. And then we'll have seasonable days ahead of us, and we'll take a look at that early voting forecast if you're heading out to the polls tomorrow to cast that early ballot here in the state of Texas. Today, we've got temperatures that broke records. Today's high here in San Angelo, 96. The previous record was 95. We broke it by one degree. That record was set back in 1962 at 95 degrees previously. We now got to 96 for a high today. Another place that ro broke records, El Paso, 95 today, 94 in Amarillo, tying their record there. Not quite so much in Dallas-Fort Worth at 91 degrees, so we've seen 90s across much of the state today. Temperatures right now, though, across the nation, we've got much cooler air on its way. 39 degrees up in Billings, 38 in Rapid City, 46 up in Minneapolis, 60 in Omaha, 73 in Oklahoma City, and that cold front is getting closer to the Lone Star State and we're going to start seeing those temperatures come down for us as we go into tomorrow. Current temperatures across the Lone Star State, 72 in Amarillo, 79 in Lubbock, 80 here in San Angelo, 76 over in Austin, 81 in San Antonio. Locally, we're seeing temperatures in the 80s, the low 80s and upper 70s, 74 in Barnhart, 74 in El Dorado, 77 in Fort McCabot, 79 in Menard, 80 over in Brady and Melvin. And as we go take a look at the surface map across the nation, here comes that cold front, much cooler air on its way into portions of Oklahoma and into the Texas Panhandle. This is going to be coming through into tomorrow morning for us here in the Concho Valley. Let's take a look at those forecasted temps for Thursday morning. 69 in Sterling City, 71 up in Robert Lee, 73 here in St. Angelo as this cold front comes through. Temperatures on Thursday evening getting into the upper 70s for daytime highs. We were in the 90s today. Tomorrow we'll be in the upper 70s for many of our communities, getting down into the 50s into Friday morning and then into the 70s for us on Friday afternoon. Look at this, low 70s for many of us as we go into Friday. Here's the extended future cast and here's what this cold front looks like as it pushes through. It's a dry cold cold front, meaning we're not expecting any rain showers or thunderstorms with it as it comes through. Maybe a few clouds and then temperatures dropping into the 70s for highs on Thursday and into Friday. And then we remain dry in this dry pattern for us all the way into the middle of next week. Wind speeds are going to be another thing that's picking up for us as we go throughout the day on Thursday, getting upwards of gusting upwards of 35 miles per hour on our Thursday. And as in terms of that dry pattern for us today, no rainfall out at the airport, no rainfall so far this month. This year, we've gotten a little over 18 inches. The departure, departure from normal, we're at a benefit of 0.69 inches for the whole year. We'll see how long that sticks around for us as we go through the rest of the month. If you're heading out tomorrow to vote, polls close at 5 o'clock tomorrow, around 7 o'clock, 63 degrees and clear. Around lunchtime, around 70 degrees. And by the time we get to the time those polls close, it's going to be right around 72 degrees. Tonight, we get down to 59 degrees with clear conditions for our Thursday. 77 for a high, mostly sunny and windy conditions, gusting to 35 at times for us on our Thursday. And as we go into the next five days here in the Concho Valley, we're going to continue to see a mix of sun and clouds temperatures getting down into the 70s for daytime highs, then getting back to the 80s as we go into the weekend and into the rest of that seven day with a few more clouds mixed in for us. We'll be back with more KSAN News right after this.